Okay, third time, lucky time, you guys. I sincerely hope that this time it will work out. The connection is going to be great. You will be able to see me and hear me well. And we are here today because it's end of the month. It's actually Friday and that's time for our live chat. And I've been missing you guys all month long because it feels like ages since we had our casual live chat with you here and today the topic is gonna be which new perfumes I'm anticipating to smell but of course first of all I want to know how are you guys doing and what perfume are you wearing today so hi Isaac I really appreciate your patience guys and uh, first things first I gotta be honest with you, there are a lot of new releases out there, so many that I didn't even know which ones to mention in this one, because I always get excited when there is something new out there, particularly if it sounds nice. Hello, Ben Links uh, Garcia. Let me actually put some lip balm on my lips, because... That way they are going to be shiny and moisturized because I'll be talking a lot. So anyway, I'm running late. Oh, I'm actually a little bit tired because of the day. However, it's our tradition to have a live stream on the last Friday of the month. Hi, Anata, maybe on IG it will be okay with the connection. Yes, probably, but you know, I'm filming a few streams on Instagram during the month and there is only one for my YouTube audience so we'll stay here and if not then I will transfer but let's let's make it quick probably you guys have some things to do so let's do it this way I will run you through the new perfumes that are out there for the ones that I'm personally excited about and you just keep up the discussion in the comments keep on your mind that you can actually Go ahead and comment anything you want. If there is something you want to ask, don't hesitate and do that. If you're a new subscriber, say hi. And don't forget to give this stream right now a huge thumbs up. So YouTube will suggest it to other people who are subscribed to my channel, you know. So Isaac says that he is wearing a cheap deodorant called Stay Cool. Didn't do much today. Stay cool. I love that name. Sounds cool. How does it smell? Does it smell cool? So anyway, let's get started with the first fragrance I'm very much looking forward to and you might have already seen it in my on my thumbnail because it's the red bottle from Killian and I absolutely love red color. I love red bottles a lot. Red perfume bottles are my favorites. I actually used to film videos about certain bottles of um, certain color perfume bottles. Sorry, I cannot even talk today. It's one of those days, but it's also very late. So I've already done pink edition, red edition, actually. And uh, Killian has this fragrance, Rolling in Love, that is on my wish list. And I wish I had money to purchase that fragrance because it's amazing, creamy, electronic, delicious powdery, magical perfume. I have its clone from Dua and Benny, Benny adores it. Benny is like crazy about it. And I am crazy about this fragrance when he has it on. Guys, right now, please give this video a thumbs up, please. Hello, what's up? It doesn't cost you anything. Please do that. So anyway, Killian has just launched another fragrance in this beautiful red bottle. And I'm kind of like, why did you do the same bottle? Because you already have red, why didn't you do pink? The same one, but pink. Because in the fragrance is rose, it's May rose. There is jasmine samba, green notes, black currant, cypress oil and white musk. It is called A Kiss from a Rose and is composed by Alberto Marias. Now, Although I really want to smell it, because Killian is definitely, hands down, one of my top favorite niche friends, and I kind of like Alberto Maria's perfumes, but for me, his, this perfumer is like, it's hit or miss. Sometimes I fall in lo love with his creations, and they 
become like my top favorites. And sometimes he creates perfumes that are so boring, so average, so not interesting at all that I'm like, how could Alberto Marias create such, you know, perfume that shouldn't even exist? So, um, this perfume doesn't have exciting notes, which is not good. I'm that person that gets really excited about the notes. Second of all, notes sound like I've already seen many times before. It, it's going to be like musky, maybe dirty rose with kind of like a pop of fruitiness in the opening. And guys, haven't we all smelled fragrances in the style? Killian itself has a couple of, not many rose perfumes actually, but they have like musky and dirty, woody fragrances. So I... I I obviously don't know how it will smell, and I, I, I hope that Alberto Marias, who once again is very skillful perfumer, and I think if he wants, he can create something special. So I hope that this fragrance is gonna smell as fruity as it looks. Who knows? Let's 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 hope for the best. Let me know how you feel about Killian. Do you like Killian as a brand? What's your favorite fragrance from it? So, um, go into your comments now, and you have some time to answer my question. Uh, Dragia Roxana says that she wears Amouache Figment Woman for the first time. And how is it? Please tell me, because Amouache fragrances have never impressed me, except for their Secret Garden collection, which is just spot on. Jay says that he needs a pink bottle, and he agrees with me. Yes, so, once again... I would love to assist brands in terms of creative direction because sometimes they just do stuff that's really, really not, not hitting the point because I think if they created a pink bottle, so many more people will buy this fragrance only because of the bottle. Like, for example, speaking about pink bottles, I purchased this one. Who remembers the moment when Rose Freak by Tom Ford was announced? Actually, I will put a little bit on because I haven't worn it like in years. Oh, yeah, this is a spicy, overwhelming rose. So I purchased it because it looks pink. It doesn't smell anything you interesting nor exciting, but pink bottle. See, pink bottle would work so much better. That's why. Brands, big brands, if any brand is listening to me, please hire me as your creative director and you will succeed. So anyway, um, that's kind of like how I feel about it, you know. Uh, here loves a fruity floral, hence the Bulgari Omnia range. Please don't talk about Omnia range to me, <laughs> please. Otherwise, we will stay here till tomorrow and I will ramble and complain because um, Omnia, the pink, uh, the, the, the white one, sorry, Omnia, I don't remember the name, please help me. I've actually created a collection overview of Omnia perfume by Bulgari. Just in case you're interested, please check it out after watching this one. But um, I don't like that collection, particularly recent releases. You know, idea is so good. Remember the yellow bottle which was released last year before pandemic came? Ylang Ylang and other stuff. Great idea. Very poorly composed. Doesn't smell good at all. This year they come up with the prettiest bottle ever. It looks so artistic and smells like... Like, really, first of all, it doesn't last. It doesn't last a minute. Second of all, it smells like... Okay, it smells floral. It smells like... Char I, 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 have, I have no words to describe how average it smells. That's how average it actually smells. So, yes. But I think this perfume, the, the, the Killian's A Kiss from the Rose, is going to be a little bit more in the style of exclusive Gucci collection that was completely created by Alberto Marias. All fragrances 
excuse the nose behind them. So I think it's going to be maybe something in the style of those rosy ones. But we'll see. Okay, so that was uh, my first anticipation. And I hope I'll get my nose on that one. So Isaac says that um, maybe Alberta is asked to make crowd pleasers, but they are not crowd pleasing. That's the problem. You know, these days, I don't know what, what's happening to master perfumers, but they don't create ma ma mm, pleasing perfumes. They create very poorly performing. And this is probably even my number one complaint about them. Because in the past, I was like, Oh, this fragrance is not artistic enough. Now I'm like, this perfume doesn't perform at all. So, you know, um, I don't think that people want to wear something that won't last and that smells so average that you can even buy a drugstore fragrance that would smell better and crowd pleasing at the same time. Only my opinion, Isaac. I just think master perfumers could do better particularly in terms of crowd pleasers. So 15 people are watching and there are only five likes. What is going on, guys? How can I motivate you to press that fucking thumb, thumbs up? Please do that. Seriously, you will help. Okay? So go ahead. Um, Aroma from Heaven says that same here, Amouache for me never impressed me, but the man line I love. Oh, I need to check it out then if you say that maybe it smells actually better than feminine perfumes, but I don't know why I smell them and they have never like really attracted me. Best Brands Perfume says, uh, if I have any comments about Delina, <laughs> I have many comments and some videos. Are there, um, are there a lot of fragrance companies attempting to copy the composition lately? I hear the stock on the blocks. Ooh, okay, let's talk about it. So, Delina, first of all, my thoughts on the original one, I've only smelled Delina. I haven't smelled the exclusive and the newest flanker, the rosy one. I haven't smelled those, but I didn't like Delina. I didn't like it at all. Absolutely did not. The opening was interesting, it was sharp and cool and very, very like bold, but the dry down just doesn't work out for me. There is something similar like in this fragrance, kind of like this musky note or something else that, that just makes me nauseous, okay? It doesn't work in, on the physical level for me. I really want to smell exclusive version because people are saying it's better and there is a floral one, maybe it's softer. But um, I've smelled many, many copies, dupes that don't really refer to Delina, but they smell exactly like it or very similar. And because of them, because they were least, um, le less intense, less, um, less of this heavy dry down that was like, oh, so, so bad to me. Um, be because of those perfumes that were kind of inspired by Delina, let's let's put it that way, I started to enjoy the, the entire concept. But once again, I just don't like the original one. It's strange. Maybe I need to give it another shot. What do you think, guys? How do you feel about Delina? Um, so about copies, that was actually a question. Please let me know if it's helpful what I am saying, if you are still there. So... Uh, right on the top of my head, I can tell you that I smelled amazing Delina-like fragrance from, it's a UK-based brand that is Ormond Jane, and from their new collection that I've discussed with their founder on my Instagram, highly recommend you to check out that stream because we go through the entire collection. There is perfume called Damask and it is fantastic because it is even juicier than Delina, even juicier. And it's less heavy in the dry down. Then from the, the designer world, just today, just today in the shop, I went to the shop and I smelled Angel Nova because you guys, there is a flanker. You won't believe it, but surprise, there is already a flanker of Angel Nova. It was released yesterday. It's kind of like this new angel that is designed to appeal to younger audience, I guess, because angel is kind of like an OG fragrance 
Um, so that one smells very similar to Delina, but way fruitier. It's like you take the opening of Delina and push it to the juicier side. So less sharp, more juicy. That's Angel Nova. Angel's Nova Slanker, pass. Pass, not worth your attention, at least in my opinion. I wouldn't recommend to smell it, but what I would recommend to smell is definitely, hands down, probably my, not my favorite, but I really like this Delina inter, um, interpretation from Carolina Herrera, which is, once again, stunning red bottle, and I've already said that I love red and red bottles. This is called Very Good Girl. Oh my God, that fragrance is sweet like hell. It's so sweet, but it's not gourmand. It's like super sweet, mm, candy-like fruit. Very similar to Delina, but with, without the muskiness in the right end. So anyway, that was a very long breakdown of Delina's interpretations. There are many more, but yes, this fragrance is... A huge hit and that's why brands are copying it even I started to enjoy it because of those fragrances that were inspired by them it's kind of like similar with Baccarat Rouge too um, Isaac says that he remembers Rose Freak Wow that's awesome I have a review on it we need another interview with Sultan Pasha oh well then you can go on his Instagram or Facebook and comment please make another interview with Yana Tomalis. That would be awesome. If you want it, let's do it that way. Because he's in the UK and unfortunately we are too far away from each other. But any time we'll see, uh, we'll do. Although it's it's, it's difficult. I, I, uh, I'll i be honest with you, it's difficult with him because he's very humble, he's very nice, but he, first time we saw each other, we didn't know each other. And I'm a very open person. I'm very open. I'm like, for example, we don't know each other, okay? We've never met, we've never spoken with you on the phone or anything in real life. And you meet me and I'm like your best friend, literally. So I met all these perfumers, you know, people who, have, who I've been admi admiring for years. Um, and just people from the industry. And I just come up to them and I chat with them and I'm very cool. And so many perfumers, indie perfumers, who are not comfortable being on camera, Actually, I was just like, relax, it's going to be all right with me. And after the interviews, they kind of complimented me on the way I just talk with them casually in the interview. That it doesn't even feel like a video interview or something, you know. So that was Sultan Pasha's feedback. That's why um, we filmed two videos. In the first one, he was kind of nervous and not very you know, open, but second one is probably a bit better, maybe third one's gonna be cool too. Okay, I'm way behind your comments, I'll I'll get in, back to them. Jay says that Omnias are just so boring and generic, yes, that's exactly what they are. Bright Crystal, Daisy, the popular ones are meh, but I like what he did for Chapard. <gasps> the rose one? I, I wanted to blind buy it like three times. It came out, it was announced during the pandemic, first lockdown. Then I wanted to blind buy it, and then I didn't. Oh my god, I need to blind buy it. I will. Do you mean at least that one? The, ro the rose in the red bottle, once again. Oh my god, red bottle is kind of like our thing today. Isaac says that's uh, bad, because if they make perfumes with synthetics, they should last long. Exactly. So... The question is, how much do they put in? Okay, I see 15 people watching, only 9 thumbs up. You guys, please, don't be greedy with your thumbs up. Please, right now, give it thumbs up, okay? You will help to get this video more views. And that way, I will grow my channel with your help. Jay says that... He hates Delina, but the exclusive was the signature scent. What? Then I definitely need to get it, but it's so pricey and don't know if I am ready to blind buy it. It was something different from all smelled. Good longevity and sillage. I get compliment at work. I didn't like at the beginning, but I like it now. I talk about pigment. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Um, I don't know if this name pigment always reminds me of fig. Is there a note of fig in there? I'm kind of into fig now. Can you recommend me a nice fig perfume, guys? 
Uh, Benelix uh, totally agrees with me about the Delina perfume. Um, no, not crazy about it. So, Rihanna, I'm bathing but listening. By the way, I realized that I don't like Delina after a few hours. I love the opening, but after a few hours of the dancing on my friend's wedding, the wearing Delina was, ooh, yes, nauseous. There is something in the dry down that just doesn't work, at least for me. Um, Carolina Herrera's very good girl is the red bottle, is a Delina copy. A bitch did it as well. Yes, and I like, you know, it's similar to what um, Barbary did with Mason Francisco de Jong for their Barbary Her collection, because that fragrance clearly has um, the core, the core, the DNA, if you understand what I'm talking about, of his super massive hit, very popular and hyped fragrance, Baccarat Rouge 540, and he is the perfumer behind Barbara Her that has that core, but um, some some other notes around that fragrance, which is softer, which is way more easy to wear, and I personally prefer it over Baccarat Rouge. But I like that they not simply copied the perfume, they actually interpreted it in their way, and they worked with the same perfumer who created this original massive hit. And this is the same with Quentin Bish, if I'm not wrong, because he created the Delena in the first place for Perfumes de Marley. And then uh, Carolina Herrera hired him and he created this flanker of um, Good Girl collection, very good girl in the red flacon. So it's nice, okay? If you agree with me, I know, I'm not sure. With the exclusive, instead of the weird screechy mask, it's powdery but more creamy. Yes, and sweet. It's yeah, I, I definitely prefer it over Delina, and it, it has the same intensity and punchiness, you know. Uh, hi, Cecily, who is wearing Grease Chanel, is good fig perfume. <gasps> really? Yeah, that's right, that's right. I have it, I like it, but it's more irisy to me. I'm looking for more fig. Yes, oh, Feliscos is actually the one that I always think about, so I need to go back and smell it, because uh, first time when it was released, I didn't like it too much, and then I haven't smelled it, and now I'm into fig, so thanks, Aneta. With the woody coconut, yes, I need to smell it, because I've, I've, I've just recently filmed a video about coconuts, because I love coconuts. Um... I don't get fig from it either. Super woody iris. Yes, woody iris with beautiful powdery cardamom. But anyway, guys, that's awesome that you're so active today in the comments. If you have any questions or anything else, then go ahead and just um, comment them below. I would be more than happy to answer them because now you have this opportunity to ask me live. And I want to move on. To the second fragrance I'm anticipating smelling, probably the most out of all these fragrances I will talk about um, today. It's on the thumbnail and it looks very pretty, very, very pretty. This fragrance is uh, created by Alberto Marias, who we, who we have already spoken about today, and Honorine Blanc. And Honoring Blanc is another master perfumer from Ferminish. That lady created a few fragrances that I enjoy. To name a few, that would be actually Yes I Am by Cacherelle, extremely affordable fragrance, and it's lovely. Uh, she created 100% chilled for Cosmopolitan that I've experienced today for the first time. And that's actually a surprise for me that she is the nose behind it. Um, it's very cool, although the tackiest packaging ever. But the scent is all right. And then she created fragrance like La Nuit Trezor Mask Diamond that you guys, I used to be obsessed with. I, I still love that perfume very much. She created one of my ex signature scents. And you guys, my last video is actually about perfumes that used to be my signature scents as I was much younger. And I highly recommend you to check it out because it's chatty, it is informative, it is nostalgic. You can actually 
Comment down below, what are your ex signature scents? No perfumes that used to be your signature scents, but are not anymore. If you're feeling like that, go ahead and do that right now. Put it in the commentary section. So one of mine that was actually created by her is Rumor 2 Rose Edition by the friend Lanvin. And I wore it as I started going out with my boyfriend eight years ago. So other fragrance from her um, that I like a lot. Oh, she doesn't have anything else. I actually see that she created a few fragrances I don't like. Okay, so it's like with Alberto Marias, hit or miss. She created Voce Viva, which I, I don't understand how Valentino. Valentino is brand that has never created something bad. Maybe, maybe not all of their perfumes are wow. Some are really cool, like Valentina by Valentino. Oh, I want that perfume. But Voce Viva is like... Please, please take it back, please. And actually, in one of my recent videos, I discussed with you an intense trend that has been going on in perfumery for quite some time now. And it's basically when a brand releases a perfume and then sometime later comes up with an intense version of it. And I would like to know how you feel about this concept because in my opinion, it's pointless to release something that has poor performance, so you need an intense version of it, when in the first place you could create something that will last long, that could perform nice. And we all know the design of fragrances right now, they deliver nothing in quality and nothing in the uh, artistry. Maybe the bottle is nice, and if so, then that's already a success. I'm very critical these days, but that's because, you know what, I'm very experienced, I am a little bit spoiled, I have great taste, and I'm going to soon be perfumer and brand owner. Exclusive information only for those who are watching my streams. And I just cannot rave about brands that are doing nothing but literally ripping people off and just like creating fragrances that are absolutely not deserved to be on the market. In my personal very critical opinion and you know guys that I'm always open that I always give a chance that I'm always excited about new releases as you clearly can tell from this video because this is the topic of this one because we are talking about fragrances that have just recently been announced and I'm looking forward to smell too but if it's bad then it's bad and it's not like it stinks if it's if it's if it stinked it might not be bad in my opinion but it's, if, it, if it doesn't last and if it smells generic and absolutely not interesting, if there is not even a hint of interesting sparkle, no, not anymore, okay? We are not hungry for perfumes. We are overwhelmed. Am I right or not? Guys, I need your support. Hello. I need to drink my herbal tea. Oh, got emotional. Okay, uh, DC and Durga, okay, thank you. That's the brand that is not available where I am. Honestly, mine was Pink Sugar. I wore it so much in my 20s and later. Pink Sugar, what's that fragrance? I need to check it out. Aneta says, oh, about the fig again. La Tizan Parfumeur has figure, and I think it may be more appropriate for you as less sharp and green, more powdery. Ooh, nice, but um, I can smell Diptyque's one in the shop, so I will give it another chance. You know, sometimes you don't like the fragrance, but once you discover love and passion for a certain note, you actually can enjoy it. Um, Isaac asks, does Coco Fig by Comptor Sud Pacific have fig in it? I don't know, that fragrance, sorry. How they do it? Jean Fogat here with La Belle and Le Perfume, I appreciate, but not anything super lazy. Yes, La Belle is fantastic. And its flanker is even greater. So, it's a great example. Jay, you are the most active person today in the stream. Thank you very much. And everyone who is commenting. If you haven't um, left a comment yet, please do. So, La Belle, you might remember my review. I actually smelled it in the shop. One time I liked it, second time I liked it, third time I liked it, and I was like, okay, if I like it that much, I need to get it. 
and it's an extremely sweet sugary fragrance with kind of like a jammy pan and I loved it and I still do and that fragrance is intense it is strong it is bold it is mass appealing okay but it's not like absolutely generic that like you've already smelled 100 times before and they have a a flanker it's not called intense it's just like parfum or something and it is extremely strong even stronger and that is well done thank you for that um, positive uh, example yeah uh, 10 is super boring uh, yes Voce Viva is super boring and an update that I wanted to tell you about today in the shop I smelled the intense flanker that I refer to in my intense video like not intense video but the video about this intense perfumes uh, please check it out guys please check it out and share your opinion that would be awesome that would push that video because it doesn't have many views and it would be cool if you guys could watch it give it a thumbs up and give this stream thumbs up right now everyone who is new hello and welcome please give this video a thumbs up so it will be suggested to other of my subscribers and actually guys another question another question please answer it it's very important to me because I was uh, chatting with Benny and he told me that he only got today the notification about the video I posted two days ago. And if that's happening, then I can understand why so many of my subscribers don't watch my videos because you clearly don't, you're not notified in time. So please let me know if you activated the bell. If not, please activate it. Please click on the bell. And that way you will be updated when I post new videos. And as you know, I really put a lot of effort into making them. Because I'm uploading four or five times a week. And I work full time now. I'm not a student anymore. I work full time. And I feel for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm streaming right now for you. Although I could be sleeping. So to give it thumbs up and leave a comment is the least you can do. If you want to do more. You can donate and buy me coffee website. And then I can buy perfumes that I'm dreaming about. But not what you viva intense. Let's get back to it. That smells like I smelled it in the shop today and I almost cried. I was so disappointed. I was just like, no, this does not deserve any chance. And your money. That perfume, that perfume does not deserve your money. I'm eating cookie from Subway. That is three or four days old crazy so <laughs> Cecil loves my honesty I want to blind buy Armani C Fiori Armani C Fiori Armani C Fiori what's that fragrance ah yes I have it Yes, it's no, everything else in the comparison to that one is, is, is not good. I will send you the link right now. Well, at least I don't like this collection. I don't like the C collection. Sorry, but you like my honesty. And C Fiori is the one that I purchased because I loved how creamy and powdery it is. The link for you. Here you go. Jay says that he ended up selling uh, yours, Fiori, but it's pretty. No, nothing super special, but pretty for the, for the springtime. Monica says, hello, Monica. Sorry, I'm working still, but I'm listening. Great discussion. Thank you so much. And greetings to New York City. Woo! New York City. My God, I want to come and visit. Sometimes you need to unsub and sub again, so you will receive notifications. Thank you for this tip, Aneta. Everyone, please unsubscribe right now and then subscribe again. Or not. Yeah, it is soft and powdery. Impossible to dislike if you like this style. Guys, I really like our energy today. I'm not rambling too much. I'm staying focused. We've discussed a lot, I feel. So go ahead. Ask anything you want, it's your last chance because we are already on the third fragrance. And it is from Jean Paul Gaultier, that we've just recently discussed. And it's another flanker. 
not oh it's not the oh it's not oh okay let's talk about this one and then the fragrance i'm most excited about okay i thought i told you about but then i got distracted anyway there is new scandal flanker that is called gold scandal gold jean paul gautier comes in this lovely bottle with hands up uh legs up there are three perfumers who who who, who compose this fragrance three and wait until the time there are gonna be five i sorry guys i i i literally do not understand sincerely i'm forgive me but three skilled talented master perfumers okay you need to understand they're all getting paid and they are creating one perfume three people okay two is okay two is okay it's like layering perfumes this is layering of perfumers it's perfumers layering this is what it is that's it perfumers layering if they are master perfumers, master perfumers, how, how, they are not able to create one good fragrance on their own. Why do we need three, fra uh, three uh, people to create one fragrance? I don't understand. Please, please tell me what do you think about it. And in a lot of times, it's not even a good end result. So there are indie brands, one, one person who comes up with this extremely complex, interesting fragrance, like for example, I don't know, you tell me, and then there are three master perfumers who went to the perfume school and stuff like that, and they come up with one generic fragrance. Okay, I didn't smell this one, I'm excited for it because of the notes, because of the bottle, because I like the original one, I even bought it, but then I needed to give it up. But I don't understand the need of three perfumers for one perfume. And not even the Pilar release, it's flanker, for God's sake. One? Why is there no scandal intense yet? Would you like to see that? I'm provoking you a little bit, guys. Uh, questionnaires on YouTube help to boost the sta uh, statistics. I mean, more people. Yes, yes, that's true. But still, you know, I don't really have much time. Uh, filming videos is already uh, very time consuming. But of course, I need to keep it up. And I'm trying to do my best. But, you know, it's not always like I, I have life. <laughs> and I try to be very active on my social media too. But, you know... It's, it's a process and it's giving and receiving. So without you, it's nothing. That's why it's very important, your feedback and the connection with you. Okay? It's the exchange of the energy. This is what it is. That's why I'm always asking for comments, for thumbs up. It's not because I, I, I just, I'm just asking. No, there is a reason. Um... They credit the perfumer of the originals, but another perfumer made changes for the flanker. If they're making changes to the scent that has been changed already by the fourth flanker, they got three people listened. I'm not sure though. Me neither. I don't understand the need of four flankers. There is an, how I see it, okay? There is an original. Say the name of any, not the f fictional name of the perfume. Let's come up with the perfume, guys, right now. First, first person, any, any word. We are creating a perfume with you. Brainstorming. How would you call your perfume? I have Pringles here. Hi, Helen. 
how are you? A thick fragrance that you like is patchouli fig from Mathieu Liver Fonage. It's fruity and chocolate. Oh, <gasps> fruity chocolatey. Oh my god, I need to look it up. I need to look it up. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, getting back to scandal. There is honey, there is saffron, there is cardamom, there is cypress oil with the rose and jasmine, patchouli, leather and sandalwood. So I expected to have the sweet DNA of the original scandal, but I hope they will make it dirty. And there is also saffron, so we'll see. I'm not the biggest fan of this note. It's too sharp for me and metallic. Sorry, I'm not the biggest fan of metallic notes, but we'll see because there is patchouli, there is rose and there is honey. I like them. I kind of enjoy cypress oil, though it can be a little bit too dirty. Um, and there is cardamom. So there is nothing not to like about it except three perfumers, although there is Fabrice Pellegrin and I like his creation. So I'm excited for Scandal. I will be looking forward to smell it. Um, so now I want to look it up, but surely... My laptop is so hot. I hope it won't explode. Oh, I know this brand. Do I have this fragrance? I have a I have the freaking sample and thank you so much. You know what I'll do? Who said that? Who who said about that fragrance? Who was it? Helen, you are my girl. Okay, please don't mind. I will be trying to find that sample. I literally have no idea where it is, but I will try. Guys, and I am creating perfumes. I do. Hi, Biggie. It's great, Yana. Redond Blankers. It's greed, Yana Redundant. Red oh my god, I don't know that name. Labu is also good. Sometimes it comes off figure to me. Labu. Label. Do you mean Label? Sounds like Middle Eastern scandal. Okay, do you want to do a fragrance or not? Come up with a name. What's going on, guys? You don't want to? Okay, we don't have to. Um, Probably Swiss Arabian scent. I already have, so I won't need this. I wish I like honey. <coughs> yeah, we definitely don't need them, but we can still be excited, can we? You guys we have some samples, and I really don't know where the sample of that fragrance is, but I know that I have it. La Moustache. La Moustache is going to be the name? Okay. Oh, I found it. Oh my god, I grabbed the right one. Patchouli figure. Helen. I'm sending kisses to wherever you are. Thank you so much for reminding me. I have so many samples, guys. Imagine your samples would become full bottles. That's my wish to you today. All samples should be full bottles. Okay. This is nice. Patchouli and fig. What not to love. Love. Coming up with a name is hard. I'm missing Anna. Where is that girl? She comes up with such cool names. Anytime. I will message her. Anna, I'm messaging you from the live stream. I miss you. We need a perfume name. Okay, anyway, I will come up with a name. Let's call it um, Party Monster, okay? Party Monster. Or Friday Night Stream. Or Friday... Anyway, Party Monster is okay. There should be a party monster, okay? And then there should be uh, 
how do you say it? Um, listen to this. So, Party Monster is our original fragrance. Then, it's okay to come up with something that would be crazy, okay? You come up with something that would appeal to people. It's creative, it's long-lasting, but at the same time, you know, it won't overwhelm. And then you come up with um, Party Monster on steroids, okay? You just push it. Maybe you push a certain note. Maybe the whole intensity of the fragrance. Something like that, so it's stronger, right? So people who really love this fragrance will, uh, will, will actually go for that intense version. And we could create a lighter version of it. Like party monster day off, I don't know, or rehab, something like that. No, Aneta, it's no not not a perfume. It's just like the 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 what um my idea how to create a perfume, right? It's not like, for example, Mon Guerlain. Let's talk about Mon Guerlain, which I love. And you know, guys, that I do. Okay? Here is Mongerly from the brand that I love, Girly. Oh my god, this fragrance is so like, smells like compote. No, no party monster Lou. It doesn't fit into the mood of party monster. Party monster, then we have party monster on steroids that is like crazy and out of this world that you want to wear when you're partying or you're in the crowded place. And then you have party monster on vacation. You know, it's just a little bit lighter in the in the in the mood. But what I'm talking about, there should be like maximum two or three flankers, not more. There should be the original version of the fragrance, then there there should not not be. It's just my opinion. You might have a different one. And if you do, go ahead and share it. I'm, I'm, I'm always um, inspiring you to share your opinion. So, Party Monster, Party Monster on steroids and Party Mo Monster light version, okay? So, there is the original one, there is an intense, a stronger one of that for hardcore fans of the fragrance and there is a lighter one for those who just want something maybe more casual, okay? Got it? Got my idea? But... It gets out of control when brands do this. First, it's okay. They come up with something interesting, with something nice, so it's mass appealing, so many people can enjoy it and will buy it. So they will... I'm actually here and breaking down the concept of perfume business. I don't know why. I won't. Getting carried away. I need to put something in my mouth, otherwise I won't close it. Okay, ready? One girl in. Okay, lovely, nice, like this perfume. Then, this one was released in 2017. Okay. Let's go to 2018. There was created Mongerlain Eau de Toilette. So this is Eau de Parfum. Eau de Toilette is a light version. That's all right. That same year as they released Eau de Toilette, they released a floral version of this fragrance, Mongerlain Floral. Okay. In 2018, they released Mongerlain Limited Edition 2018. Okay. Oh, in 2017, they also released Mon Guerlain Sensual. Okay. 2019, Mon Guerlain Gold, Collector Edition. Okay. Mon Guerlain Extreme. Okay. It's not all. Mon Guerlain Eau de Parfum Intense. Have it. Like it. Good one. Really more intense. More vanilla. It's good. But that's not all. 2019, Mon Guerlain 
bloom of rose. So there is already a floral version, but they decided to talk about rose in the fragrance that is actually not about the rose. But okay, why not to create just the rose fragrance? No, we'll do the rose version of it because we can. Okay. 2020, Mongerlane Bloom of Rose Eau de Parfum. It's like the flanker of the flanker of the flanker. So there is Mongerlane, then there is Mongerlane Bloom of Rose, and then Mongerlane Bloom of Rose Eau de Parfum. What? That's the moment when they when they when they lost the control. And then it's it's not the end. It's not the end. I, I hope you are still watching. It's not the end. Then they released the freaking Mongerlane Sparkling Bouquet that is the biggest disappointment of this entire collection, this year's launch, bad fragrance. I like it. I purchased two. It's my favorite brand, bad perfume. Mongerlane Hair Mist, okay. And if you thought it's all, I guess it is, but probably just for now. Okay, guys, I'm actually very tired. It costed me lots of energy. I will go through your comments now. Party Monster Eau de Cologne. <laughs> Beach Party Monster. Yeah, we could do so many flankers of our Party Monster. I see what you mean. Maybe Hangover. A light version and an intensified. Exactly. That's all you need. You don't need a rose, a floral, a rose or de parfum, rose or de toilette. What are you talking about? You know? Uh, Perhaps the Marl got it right for Delino with having an exclusive antler rose. That should be the last one. Yes, exactly. Because if it's another thing, if they create too many, then the 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 I the fragrance just gets lost. I don't know. Party monster hangover. Exactly. That would smell fun, wouldn't it? Uh, there's baking off Mongerlane because it's cash cow. <laughs> no creativity. They just know it sells. I don't know if it sells. I don't know. Honestly, I think the most perfume brands are not creating fragrances because of love for perfume anymore. Only for money. They just see well-sold fragrance would become... Yes, but it's hard to create a well-selling perfume. You know? Because... Not because it's hard to come up with something that smells nice. Because market... Is over, is over. Overloaded. That's it. And finally, let's get back to our subject. And I will tell you about the final fragrance has just recently been launched. I have biggest expectations and hopes for the Flora Gorgeous Gardenia Eau de Parfum by Gucci. And you guys, this fragrance is created by Alberto Marias and Honorine Blanc. The model is Miley Cyrus. And I've been really enjoying her music lately, the, the, the newest music. I've never been the fan, never enjoyed her music. But her latest album, I feel like she liberated, she opened up, she changed her style, and I feel like she's herself. And I love the retro advertisement for this fragrance. I like the notes a lot, like if they don't mess it, and they have two great perfumers working on this perfume. There is too much to lose. If they will make this fragrance bad, I will find it. And I will bash it, but I want to love it and hype it. Okay, I'm saying it all live. So, you guys, do you want to know the notes? What's in there? It has such a pretty bottle. And honestly, what Alberto Maria um, has done to Gucci with their... Oh, I don't remember. It. Oh, I will show it to you. I'm... Today is the day when I'm showing you stuff. It is Memoir d'une odeur. Not a crowd pleaser, very artistic fragrance, very unexpected launch. And it was my favorite release of the year because it's freaking amazing. Scent of yeast. 
great and the gardenia one is pink with similar cap i'm excited for it um so the notes in there are pear blossom i like that it's not just pear it's pear blossom there is gardenia and jasmine so there are many flowers and then there is brown sugar and patchouli in the dried up and i love the idea of this perfume i love the concept i love the notes i love everything about it and i sincerely sincerely really hope that it will smell great so what do you think about it hmm? I just asked that she surprised L'Oreal is continuing all the alien flankers. This was the big hit and all its flankers also. Yep. Um, Jay says that he lives in Chicago. She was just performing at... Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, she's fun. She's kind of cool. 